What's up, bros and hoes, whatever floats your go. It's your boy, Relentless, and today I'm bringing you a video um, that brings to light certain things, certain aspects that's come up on social media, and also other content creators have brought it up. And that is more or less a lot of people saying that the division is dying or is dead. But I assure you, the division uh, currently right now is uh, kicking. Uh, it's not on life support, uh, it may be in hospitalization mode, or in the ER, but uh, there's plenty of people still playing. As you can see on the graph I put up in this last 30 days, there's been over 6,000 players just on the Steam stats alone. That's not counting both consoles of PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now, the reason I entitled this uh, video, Three Months to Live, as based on these numbers, dating all the way back to you know 1.3, the very beginning, uh, you can see it's an it's a never-ending roller coaster. You know we get into these issues, these problems. We have a PTS. We have new content that comes out. The numbers come up, and then you know soon after they get bored of it, and it goes right back down. And as we look into January and December, um, they actually went up quite a bit. And now they've dropped down uh, over 4,000, uh, almost half that um, due to the situation of the game as it is right now with the whole uh, everybody wanting to run Alpha Bridge in the DZ. Now that there's been a PTS, 1.6 is about to be launched. Uh, you can expect those numbers to go back up to the previously the way it was around 12 or 13,000 players. Other players will be brought back to the division due to the release of 1.6. But based on the roller coaster numbers that's been set by Steam, uh, I only foresee uh, maybe another three months. Uh, if, if that even less uh, before those numbers uh, tend to drop and go on that downward spiral once again uh, mainly due to there's only so much last stand that you can actually play um, a lot of streamers did nothing but you know play the last stand for the most part of the last week of the PTS and after watching you know it about 4 to 15 matches of the last stand, I myself personally got bored and actually of actually watching it. I mean, it, playing it is something different, but it is just one game mode. It's not like, uh, let's say for COD, for instance, just throwing that ass out there. I know it's totally different, but it is a form of domination, such as like COD. But also, you have you know the team deathmatch, but that can be you know the DZ could be the team deathmatch, but it is only one game mode. So that alone in itself. Um, I don't, I don't think maybe after a month's worth of Last Stand, people will lose interest. Um, the same with the new Incursion. Um, people will get more or less tired of that and the, repetitive, the repetitiveness of it um, after the first month. Now we go into the uh, new Legendary modes for all the Incursions. Now these Incursions are the same Incursions, just with a higher difficulty. Um, do the higher difficulty uh, factor in the better rewards given, given that the RNG is completely sucky in this game. I mean, we can all agree on that, no matter what. Uh, what incursion it is, whatever we're searching for, you know, whether it be certain pieces of gear, high-end weapons, uh, named gear pieces, so on and so forth, the, the roles in the uh, recalibration station, the RNG gods aren't uh, very beneficial in this game. So how long will this content last before the numbers drop even sooner? Now don't get me wrong, I love this game. You know, win or lose, you know, however bad or the complaints may be of stuff that hasn't been fixed yet, that still need to be addressed and things are being added to it without more or less addressing the things that need to be addressed to begin with. Uh, and first and foremost, but you know, sooner or later they will be. But how long will this last? With no really particular end game, you know, we had the whole last, uh, the last signal, the whole Keener thing. Um, where will it all end up going? Right now, it's basically a standstill. 
When people get tired of Last Stand, what is that going to resort to? People going back to the DZ and doing nothing but roguing it out and PvPing that way. Um, because, I mean, it's more excitement for one. I mean, I know it is for me. Uh, it's more intense. Um, there's really no objective except for to kill the other person and stay alive and take their stuff if it's something good or, you know, if that's what you want. But how long will this new content last? So I give it, if there's nothing else that comes out, no other DLCs, no other fixes, nothing new that comes into the game, I give this three months before, if that, and three months, uh, and that's a me giving uh, a lot of rope there. But within three months, I see the downward spiral, you know, going further and further down the rabbit hole because people will lose interest. And that's not even counting that uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is coming out, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands is coming out. So both of those games are definitely going to be playing a factor, even though 1.6 is coming out. But the longer it takes for the so called Sony and uh, Microsoft to, you know, give the okay to release it, those numbers are just going to keep dwindling, and yes, when it finally launches, people are going to come back, people are going to keep grinding, but as we've seen on the number stats as before, and I'll throw them back up, um, it's just an ever-ending roller coaster, and then the hills on the decline keep going further and further. I mean, it started out in the hundreds of thousands, and now it's down just to the low tens of thousands. And with this consistency, based on the Steam stats, um, and basically that can calculate also um, into platform stats, such as the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, they can see similar stats. But how long will it last? Um, I love this game. I hope, you know, there is some kind of end game where, you know, it started out with the virus, so where does it all end? Is it just going to be open-ended? And then, you know, later we're going to see a Division sequel, as in Division Part 2, where, you know, it, there's actually a conclusion to how the virus ends and how either New York City is restored, or is it going to progress into a, another city? Now, if it progresses into another city then, you know, what is the remedy and what is the fix and what's destroyed the virus from New York, New York City and have dispatched the complete Rikers and all the gangs, such and therefore. Now, if the end game is, you know, the cure is found, um, everybody gets it, we restore New York, uh, one big final mass raid or whatever to where you start out in, in what, one part of the DZ and just go through and completely wipe out every single Riker, gangbanger, pisser as I call them, the flamers or whatever you want to call them, to, and all the bosses to completely free up the dark zone to where there is no more dark zone, to where the walls come down and it is completely light zone. Now those are just my thoughts. Uh, I'm very optimistic still of this game because I love it so much so don't, so don't take this as a negative. But how long will this new content last? Um, I have faith in Massive, but you know, over the course of certain things, it has dwindled a little bit uh, here and there. It gets spiked, um, and I get hopes, my hopes up, and then you know, I, there's letdowns, and it's just this unending vicious cycle. But anyways, those are just my thoughts. Let me hear your thoughts on what you th guys think in the description comments below. Uh, I very much like to hear them, and also, um, if you think this is, uh, you know, a good camaraderie between, you know, what the division and what direction it should take, you know, where is the end game, what else could be done about it, also leave that in the comment description below because I enjoy reading y'all's comments. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button, and also me and the infamous R Reggie Merck White of the um, UEG community, Little Reggie Merck. You can check out his channel at RT. Uh, L-I-T, Merck R-T, uh, his channel. Um, we are trying to start streaming on Twitch, so there is a GoFundMe link, which is entitled the Stream Dream GoFundMe. Um, all your support's appreciated. It'll go toward uh, performance parts and pieces, PC, so that you know we can be able to stream on Twitch 
and also stream on YouTube and also bring you better content and merge more or less our channels together because we are constantly playing together anyways. So we thank you guys so much. Any contributions, we very much appreciate it. And uh, keep those comments, those thumbs up buttons coming. Uh, and if you dislike something, you know, at least let us know what you dislike. So that way we can better improve our content for you uh, and make it more entertaining. Uh, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys fudging later. I got broads in the land, Twisted the lean, the family. Credit cards in the scams. Hitting the licks in the band.